My name is Valerie Rake. My title is Associate Director for eLearning Support. I manage a team of six people who provide support and application admin for all of our e-learning tools. I work in a larger group called Learning Systems, which in addition to support and app admin does development, infrastructure, operations, and innovation management. Carmen Canvas is our central learning management system. Uh, it is the place for instructors and students to have a shared place for all of their course material. So that's readings, uh, handouts, assignment descriptions, actual place to turn in assignments, takes quizzes, grades can be calculated there. Um, if instructors are using an external tool, how the students access that tool can also start in Carmen. So it gives them a central place for everything to happen and that really helps students stay on top of things. Um, people also use Carmen for a variety of collaborative and informal learning activities. So it, it can serve a lot of different purposes around campus. Carmen came about as a concept in 2005 when the university decided to go from multiple WebCT instances to a single central LMS and they decided to brand it Carmen. I was actually hired as part of that transition team and um, we were on Carmen from 2005 until about 2016. In 2014 or so, we started to get a sense that the market for learning management systems had changed enough that we should look at the market again and see if we were still using the best product for Ohio State. So we did a major evaluation in uh, 2014 and 2015. We did some pilots in that year and then we did a transition to Canvas and we started calling it Carmen Canvas at that point in 2016 and 2017. We call it Carmen Canvas because there are so many people who know about it from other places that we couldn't avoid the fact that it was Canvas. But we wanted to keep the Carmen part of it because it had the history of being the central learning management system. And we also talk about that as that's the other things that we bring to the service in addition to just the product that we buy. Carmen is the integration with the registrar system, with the identity system. It's the support we provide. It's the training we provide. The service is more than just the product. And I think that's an important thing for people to understand is we're not just buying a product, we're buying a product and then we're putting the service around it that makes it really useful for faculty and staff and students. One of the things that was really significant was how smoothly the whole apparatus moved into the pandemic and out of it. Sometime before the pandemic started, the undergraduate student government had put forth what they called Carmen Common Sense. And that was 10 tips from students to instructors about things they wanted to see in their Carmen courses. And they all had to do with things like, this is a good central place for all of our stuff. This is how we'd like to see the communication happen. Help it be predictable for us. And because we were already promoting that and we already had resources around that, when the pandemic happened and we had to sort of move everybody online, we had a framework for that. We had some materials to help all of the faculty who hadn't yet been using Carmen or had only for document storage and not for assignments and quizzes and grades. We had material to support them. We had staff who could walk them through that. We had ways to make that happen. And so I think that was probably the biggest challenge that we were able to just take that one extra week we had to do some additional staff training to support people and then just say, okay, we're back, we're all online, and it works. We didn't have a hiccup at all in terms of the technology when we all had to come back in. And that was really, really something to feel proud of. That I think is one of the interesting things is as we've come out of the pandemic, how much more comfortable everybody is with things being online. You know, it, it's just, it is a, an expected and understood thing that the tech-weary faculty member says, oh, my students want me to live cast this, so I just want to make sure I'm okay with how I'm doing this in Zoom. It's, it's not like, like, I have no idea. It's, I just want to make sure I'm okay with it. And, and that's a measure, I think, of the technologies are easy to use, but also because our staff and the other people throughout in the university are helping people learn how to use the technology that is now part of how education happens.